it's Sarah. I'm going to put a piece of paper here. I have this. I'm going to be doing a mixed media mosaic, you guys, and it's going to be kind of getting back to the basics when it comes to creating polymer clay tiles to do a mixed media mosaic. Um, when I first started and I didn't have many supplies, this piece came into being because most of these stamps, like this Buddha, the Yin Yang, these little Geisha, they were uh, stamp sets that I got on clearance at Michael's, I believe. Anywho, you know, just used what I had, basically. I think some of these are, like this, the flip-flop one, I think is a soap um, stamp. And so, and then there's like these little... I had worked with glass mosaic tiles before, so I have a couple of pieces of glass tiles on here. But, I this hangs next to my bed. This hangs in my bedroom. It's one of my favorite pieces I ever made. Um, and I don't have a date on here, but it, it, I know it, it's one of the first ones I ever did. Really just using black clay and mica powders, which there's Pearlax, and this one's called... Um, this one's Pearlax and Perfect Pearls to get the colors on here. I mean, there's a couple, like there's a green piece and maybe a, oh, here's a blue piece. But anyway, I'm going to take you through the process to create a mixed media mosaic with polymer clay that kind of is kind of like this theme and this style. So very zen. I'm going to put this to the side for a second. I went and got, I wanted to get a surface because see this, is pretty wide. Let me just show you. So this is at least almost four inches wide. I had this piece, this is a frame that I had in my stash. Um, they may sell something like this in your local craft stores, but I loved it because, and it's just got a piece of mirror in there that I put in there. I loved it because of that, because it's so wide. Um, because you want to have a pretty big, a pretty decent surface when you make one of these. So you guys know I've been working on a lot of things to do with the chakra and healing and dream catchers. And I mean, a lot of the projects I've been doing lately are very peace inspired, a lot of positivity, um, stuff like that. And so this is gonna go along those lines. So I've pulled things from my stash. I just wanted to share. Uh, when I was out, I saw, I got, I shared this in my last video. I made these little, um, dream catcher mandalas on little tiny uh, canvases and I made like I made it into a dream catcher I just put a, a Swarovski bead and then a little feather but I found these feathers so I have seven of the same kind but anyway I have to finish that <coughs> so um, what I'm going to be working on is and you guys if you want to follow along do not need to do it the way I'm doing it you can do it I mean, the way I'm doing it, yes, but not with the same theme. So come up with your own theme if you want to do nature, if you want to do seashore, summertime, anything you want. Pull things from your stash that represent whatever your subject matter is going to be. So for me, I was keeping it on this theme, the very, the chakra, the mandala, the, the unity piece, world peace type theme. Um, and this is just my chakra book, but it's the colors of the chakra here. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and um, lavender or uh, um, anyway. So those are the colors that I've chosen. I'm going to use only mica powders. Pearl X Perfect Pearls, you can use um, eyeshadow. This is from the Dollar Tree. I don't have red. So I think I'm going to maybe use this ink of gold. It's called Lava Rot. Um, and it's kind of orangey, but I do have red Swarovski crystals. So maybe I'll use that to introduce the red into it as well. Um, I'll probably use gold, white. Um, so, but I'm going to be using black clay. Oh, these are the little, these, I know Michael sells the Perfect Pearls, and I think they used to sell the Pearl X powders, too. I'm not sure if they still do. I think I only saw the Perfect Pearls there last time. But they come with these little brushes, so you just brush it on. It sticks to the clay real nice, and then you just give it a spritz of water, and that's supposed to um, adhere it on there. 
Um, so that's what I'm going to color the clay with, and I'm going to work with Primo and Sculpey clay. Primo is by Sculpey. Oops, they're both upside down. I had, I ended up buying this Primo the other day. It's about eight bucks for a block this size, but you'll get a lot of tiles out of here, and if you use a coupon, it's like five bucks. You'll get a lot of tiles. But I had, I had this big block of Sculpey three, which the difference is, I would say, Sculpey three is a little bit of a softer clay, and Primo has a little bit more, um, it's a little firmer when you work with it. So I pr prefer Primo. And I have, you know, but I have worked with both, and they're both perfectly fine. So, and you can use whatever color clay you want. I am just going with, because, like, look, I'm going to pull this down. I have done lots of different mixed media mosaics, and you can use all pink clay, all green clay, whatever you're into. I've painted the clay. I've, you know, so this one's kind of like it says believe in the power of positive thinking. So it's again, it's along those lines. I think that's just my go-to theme. But this one has all different colors. This is a mishmash of pretty much every style of tile that you could think of. You know, they're hand painted. There's like this little kind of sculpted one, just stamped, embedded. You know, all, everything, and then there's little applique flowers on some of this stuff. So, you know, as my work has evolved, as I've grown and accumulated more supplies as well, because, and I'm just hanging that back up, um, that's the thing. You, you use what you have. I tend to, and I'm going to pull, I'm going to share some more. So you got your clay. You need a substrate, meaning what you're going to put it on. So for this one, I think I'm going to work on this big piece here. This is, uh, I forget what they call it, but it's because it's got, it's called some type of board, something board. And it's by Art Minds. It was around five bucks, something like that. Um, so I'm going to paint this off camera. I'm going to paint, prep coat, prep everything off camera. I'm going to seal the wood base coat it probably probably black I'm gonna go with black and then I'm gonna give the, the top of it a coat of gold metallic gold and that's what you'll see through in between the tiles so it looks real pretty uh, Lori Micah gave me that tip that's how she did it I also found this frame at Joann's it was on clearance it's not as wide it's about it's only two in it two and a quarter inches wide in the widest part. So some of the tiles that I make, like the Buddha I'm going to show you, he's too big for the frame. He won't fit on here. So that's why I really wanted to do a piece with the Buddha. Now this one I might not do a piece with the Buddha. Maybe I'll just keep it more nature or something like that. Um, and then these. This is really what I wanted to share and make sure you guys knew about these. A lot of times I do my little mosaic. Let me go grab one. My little boxes, and I've shared these before. Uh, I get these at AC Moore. <coughs> excuse me, they're a dollar. But the lid comes off, and I really like it because when you use a hinged box, it tends to tip over once you put the tiles on. So these are much smaller gauged tiles, obviously. It's a smaller surface. This is only three by three. So, that being said, you know, you want to gauge your t size tiles to the project you're making. Now, you could just cover the whole lid with one tile, you know, like I have a big tile here. Like, say it was this. Boom. You know, it's going to take up the whole thing. So, to make a mosaic, you want to put a bunch of little things. That's how I do it anyway. So, these are from AC Moore, and I know you guys have a hard time getting a hold of these, I found these at Michael's, and I thought they would work lovely. They're by Art Minds. They were $2 each, and I got three, because you never know how long they'll have them. These are in the bin, uh, in their $2 bins, like when you, when you go to checkout, they have all those little bins right there that catch your eye, and they had star ones, heart ones and like a little knob I think and it's a drawer 
So I thought it would be super cute if you like glued three together because then you'd have this whole big surface to tile and make a mosaic with. You could do just two, have two drawers. I mean, I'm sure if you weren't putting tiles on it, you could do it like a little, hi Kirby. Kirby came to see me. A little stack or whatever. But I think for this, you could do it up this way too. So I have to think about what I want to do because you could keep little stuff in here and keep it on your desk. Um, you know, you could keep your scented oils. Do you want to come up? Come on, she's coming. Oh, come on, careful. Here she is. Here she is. Here's my jumpy jumpy. Okay. Um, anywho, so these I think will be great because they're very square, you know. It's a nice size surface. I would, they're a little bigger than these. So you have a little bit more room and I'm going to do at least three sides. I'll probably just paint the front and like emboss it or something and make it cool and maybe I'll put feet on it so it'll look really neat um, and you're mad let your imagination do what you want to do don't you don't have to do what I do you can do what you want to do all right so then now once you've gotten your surface and your idea of what your theme is going to be you get the surface that you think will fit on there now you have to create the tiles so in order to do that, you want to gather up things that, that kind of speak to that theme. Things like metal uh, jewelry findings, metal scrapbooking embellishments, um, things like that. So I'll go through that in a minute. Uh, and stamps. So I happen to have quite a nice stash of stamps now. Um, but I have some that I've never used like this one. These were on clearance from Hobby Lobby. We have a Hobby Lobby that just opened. Anyway, never used them. It kind of looks like the Tree of Life. And I thought I could stamp that out and put a little Swarovski crystal of each of the seven chakra hanging from the branches. This kind of looked Asian. What does that look like? What are those flowers called? Cherry blossoms, right? So I thought if I stamp that out, I could just kind of cut it into pieces and use it as filler tiles or something. I also had these boho stamp sets that I, I did ATCs with these. Um, there's dream catchers, feathers. This one has like a moon and a sun and a little elephant. Um, kind of like, it says believe. These are super cool. A little dove that kind of it's just very peace looking to me very peace and flower child type stuff um, let's see these little mandala stamps Sherry sent me um, these so I pulled a couple of these that looked not too intricate because they're going on clay so you have to think you know I want it to show up not just be like a blob so I'm gonna try these then I had these flower stamps these were some um, mandala stamps that I had they're not really mandalas they're just circles eh. that's all mandala just means circle um, and then I have love peace peace signs all different things that I'm going to be able to stamp. Oh, I love this one. And these are Follow Your Bliss. These, this looks like it was um, one of those at AC Moore, I think. They're like a dollar at holidays or something. I, I don't know what the theme would have been because it says Dream, Joy, and Follow Your Bliss. But um, I'm going to use Follow Your Bliss for sure. Like, I don't know what my words are going to be on the big one. Like, I would want to put... Maybe namaste, which I don't even really know what that means. I'll have to Google it. <laughs> All right, and then I have, I know Kirby, I'm telling everyone stuff. See, this is what I wanted to show you. So these were just some tiles that I had made previously. And I thought they went along with the theme. And I wanted to just look back and see, like, look, this is an Asian coin that I made into a tile. I think it's a little big, like I probably won't use it. I love the peace sign. 
I love this big flower jewelry finding, but here's the Buddha. See how big he is? I don't know if he's a Buddha or like a, it's like a dove bird or a peace bird. This is a, um, I just embedded a bunch of gems, or not gems, like uh, seed beads. But I wanted to show you, oh, I think I might want to do one of these molds. Like make, I think they look very kind of Buddha, like little Buddha guys. Um, and it can be super simple, like it, just a simple shape like that. And, you know, I had this Greek key looking theme one I thought might look good as a filler tile. But look, I wanted to show you. So these are pretty big, right? And on my, like, look, I could go as big as this with that little face. Don't forget, like, maybe some um, gold leafing would look gorge on this. So I just pulled some little things. But I do feel like I'm going to make a lot of the tiles for this project. Because, um, yeah, I really want it to be along the, these lines. So, but I wanted to show you. So on this, Kirby, you're on my lap. You know, it's hard to do this if you on my lap so like boot is not gonna fit on my frame he's too big I mean I could trim him down and just use this that would be cool actually I think that would be doable so just cut and make it rectangular but then I would be cutting off the little like aura the round part which I really love and I embedded all those beads in it but like the peace signs gonna fit the peace sign could fit on the here, but I think what I'm thinking is I would go smaller tiles on this one, and I'm going to keep the big ones on here. So definitely, like, maybe he'll just go right in the center, my Buddha, and then, you know, build around that. Like, start with big tiles and then just fill in with all the small tiles. And you could go this way, too. So, like, if I had Namaste... It, and it's fairly long. It could go namaste and, you know, um, who knows? Follow your bliss and all that stuff, all right? So, I am going to be creating tiles today. I'm going to get my pa uh, pasta machine out. I'm going to clear off my desk of all the stuff and just start working, start to build a stash, build a little assortment of different tiles, and then... We will, by the end, we will be a, um, assembling a mosaic. So we will go ahead and fit all the tiles in like a little puzzle and glue them down. All right? So if you want to follow along, gather up some supplies. You're going to need clay for sure. And I do use a pasta machine, which I don't, I can't get it. My dog is on my lap. But, um... Because I, and I didn't in the beginning, I mean, and obviously, you're going to need thicker, t thicker clay. Like, if you're embedding a piece of jewelry, it's going to need a little bit more thickness. But for the most part, I like to keep them no thicker than a quarter inch. So they're all going to be pretty much even. But they don't have to be if you're rolling them out by hand. Like, let's see. This one's definitely much thicker. And it depends. Sometimes if I'm doing a session of tile making, I'll just roll everything out really super thin that what that time. Bake them and they're done. And then the next time I make tiles, I roll them out thicker. So that batch is going to be thicker. So they're not always going to, well, unless you always do them at a certain thickness. But the pasta machine, basically it's, I'm trying to get it. I got it. I got mine at, um, I think they see more, I'm not sure. It is just your basic over by the polymer clay. It's by a company called Amico. And what it is is you have this little dial right here and a little crank over here. All right, go ahead, Bubby. Good girl. Um, so you set the dial. Oh, geez. Set the dial to the thickness so this the little rollers will open and close and that makes the so you, you have to Kirby stop you condition the clay 
and then you put it through the roller and you'll have a nice I'll show you so you might want one of them too I love mine and I've I've abused it I am not gentle and um, it still works so um, they even have electric ones and everything so I'm gonna get my desk cleared off come back and we're gonna start making some tiles and maybe I will make a Buddha that I'll cut and we'll see what he looks like I don't know he's so handsome um, alright so think of a t think of a theme and gather your supplies and meet me back here and we'll make some tiles thanks for watching